One of the questions asked us to differentiate this, and you can see emotional blunting, apathy, and anhedonia in the far right with that little cartoon there. And um, I suppose in some respects the, this serves a very useful purpose because it does begin with at the bottom what they share in common, that being the reduction in positive, in positive emotion. But if you look upwards, we'll start from positive emotion, there are differences. Emotional blunting, I always see emotional blunting as diminished reactivity. Not just positive, but less reaction to negative. Indeed. And apathy, which is often described more in the world of neurology for some reason, is a decrease in motivation which involves aspects of reward and cognition. An effort that one is willing to expand. Exactly. And then anhedonia, yes, they don't enjoy the excursion of positive, but they certainly have the negative excursion. So there's a negative. So you can see how anhedonia and emotional blunting differentiate. 